If you've watched other Red Dead Online fishing videos on YouTube, you've probably noticed that many duplicate fishing methods like animal carcass fishing have already been patched by Rockstar. But if you're looking for a traditional fishing location that quickly catches your continued back-to-back -back fish literally seconds after the hook hits the water, then stick around for this easy money-making fishing location. And also make sure to stick around to the end of this video to see the secondary fishing location where you can use this fishing method the exact same way. I'm CEO Foxtrot, and I believe many of you will probably skip ahead through this video straight to the map location to go start fishing in game. But to save you impatient players the hassle of wondering why this fishing method doesn't work efficiently when you get there, I highly suggest watching this entire video to fully understand which elements will easily maximize your fishing efforts when using this location. The two things you'll need is a fishing rod for 3250, which can be unlocked with four bars of gold before rank 14, and the special spinner lure for $15, which catches any type of fish, and it can be unlocked with one bar of gold before rank 37. Now this is the actual fishing location, which I'll show you in a moment. But first I need to show you the exact fishing technique that I use to hook fish every few seconds and you'll need to repeat this exact technique every time you cast your line. Now with your fishing rod in hand equipped with the special spinner, you're going to hold down the left trigger at all times while fishing. With that said, squeeze and hold the right trigger to fully load the rod back, then let go of the right trigger to cast the line. Once the line is fully cast, flick the rod up once with the left thumbstick then crank and reel the line in very slowly using the right thumbstick. If you don't hook a fish by the fourth or fifth crank, flick the rod down once by pushing up on the left thumbstick, then continue slowly reeling in using the right thumbstick. As soon as the fish hooks the line, squeeze and hold the right trigger until the fish stops struggling, then quickly reel it in. Now repeat this exact technique every time you cast your line in this location. Okay, here we go. Grab your fishing rod from your items wheel. Then make sure that you bait your fishing rod with the special spinner lure using the left bumper or L1 on your controller. Now keep in mind that the special spinner is a unique lure that catches any type of fish and it don't usually break off like most other lures do. Now remember, always cast your line with a maximum throw. Once fully casted, flick the rod up once, then slowly cast the reel. One 1,000, two 1,000. 3-1000. Fish bites? Hook the fish by squeezing the right trigger and hold while the fish is struggling. Once the fish is calm, quickly reel the fish in. Do this exact same fishing method every time you cast your line. Now before I show you where this location is on the map, along with some other important info, I want to first show you in real time, unedited, how good the fishing is here, so you can truly see if coming out here is going to be worth your time. But make sure you pay special attention to how fast the fish hooks after the hook hits the water, and how fast the fish reels in, which is usually what takes forever when fishing. Hopefully this won't be something that Rockstar patches once they get wind of it, because if they do, it would be pretty pathetic. So if you fish this location sometime after this video was posted, and the fish aren't hooking like they are in this video, then you could pretty much guess what happened. Of course I'll also show you exactly where to stand once you get to this location on the map, but watch these next few catches as I let them play out unedited in real time to see if this location is even worth you coming out here. I'll also show you how to quickly access the butcher from this location so you can sell your fish when they max out in your satchel. Then you can quickly return to this location for more. Now what makes this specific spot so special is, one, there are a lot of fish here, which include chain pickerel, redfin pickerel, bluegill, rock bass, and largemouth bass. Two, the lake is extremely narrow in this location, which means you can fully cast your line out here, but the reel in time is extremely short, which almost eliminates struggling fish, and that alone will save you an incredible amount of time. And three, there are no massive fish out here that need to be stored on your horse, so you won't waste any time catching fish that won't fit in your satchel. I personally have an upgraded satchel which holds 20 of each fish, so if you plan on making fishing one of your main side hustles, I highly encourage you to upgrade your satchel as soon as you can. I'll go over the price that you get for these fish later in the video. 
but let's cast one more line and I'll show you where this location is on the map. If you're familiar with fishing in this game, you know how long it takes to usually catch and reel in struggling fish. But you can see this location fetches you fish consistently back to back. Let's bring this last one in. This unique fishing location is located right at the southern mouth of the Aurora Basin just before it enters the lower Montana River in tall trees. From the road, you're going to walk over to the water's edge. Make sure you're standing directly across the lake from two very tall pine trees, just beyond that boulder in the water with this baby pine tree here to your left. Do not cast your line directly towards the river because your fish reel in line will be way too far out. Make sure you cast your lines towards that boulder across the lake or in this area right here. Now if for some reason you're not catching many largemouth bass, walk right up here and try fishing from this boulder here. Now again, do not cast your lines towards the river because of the fish reel in distance. Rather, cast your lines across the lake in this area while using the exact same fishing technique as before. And behind me here is the Aurora Basin. So once you're ready to sell your fish, head on over to nearby Manzanita Post, and then you can fast travel to the Butcher and Blackwater for only $1, which is definitely worth not having to travel there by horse. So how much are all the fish worth from this location? Well, I got 20 redfin pickerel at $1 each for a total of $20. I got 20 rock bass at $1 each for a total of $20. I got 20 bluegill at 75 cents each for a total of $15. I got 20 chain pickerel for $1 each for a total of $20. And I got 20 largemouth bass at $2 each for a total of $40, which by selling all the fish right now would earn me a total of $115. For those of you still watching this video, here's a bonus fishing location at the dock of the Braithwaite Mansion where you can catch the exact same fish using the exact same fishing technique. Just head out onto the dock and you'll see two oars and an anchor laying on the deck. Now this is important. This dock won't allow you to fish from the edge of the dock in this direction. So make sure you stand more in the center of the dock, which will allow you to cast your line. So from here, grab your fishing rod equipped with your special spinner lure, and you know the drill. If you get the message which doesn't allow you to cast your line, adjust your position away from the edge of the dock a little bit. Now again, I'll cast a few lines here unedited in real time so you can see the actual fishing results from this location. The fishing benefits here are the same as they were up at Aurora Basin. So again, just notice how fast the fish hooks after the hook hits the water and how fast the fish reel in time is. If you guys like fishing in this game and you want your money to build up quickly at the same time, these two fishing locations are perfect spots for you. I'll cast a few more lines here, then I'll show you where to sell your fish from here. I just want to show you that these unique locations continually catch fish back to back.
Okay, so when you're ready to sell the fish that you caught from this location, just ride on over to the nearby town of Rhodes where the butcher will be waiting for you. And of course you can head right back over to the Braithwaite Manor dock for more. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that bell to receive alerts.